Hello, everybody. How are you tonight? Fine, teacher. Fine, fine. Very uh, well. A little tired, but yeah. uh, I really, I really want to 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 learn in this class. Of course, definitely. Yeah, it's Monday. And we are tired already, right? Because traffic and many other things. So, are you are you going to Sulutan these days? No, teacher. Uh, my my strategic plan was, uh, I work in my in my house, home office. Oh, very good. The whole week. Uh, only only Monday. Tuesday, but Wednesday and Friday, I will I will go to the to the Usulután. I see. So, yeah, those days are going to be kind of difficult, and you need to be careful because it's it's raining this month. As, as I remember, it's one of the most raining months. Yes, teacher. The the national the national government. Uh, Show show in the in the in the news for the alert a yellow alert. That is true. Uh, I don't know how it was there in San Salvador, but in Santa Ana it was raining in the morning. I mean that is the very first time in the whole year that it was raining. So yes, teacher, the the class in the in the school and private and public uh, it was a stop. A Friday. Yeah, that's true. Right? So, let's see what happens. And uh, if you go to Sulutan, you need to be careful these days. Yes, teacher. Def definitely. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you tonight. And we are going to start with a little activity. Uh, we are going to start the unit number three, and uh, we are going to check about. Well, the, the name of the unit actually is branding. Okay, so what we're going to do to start into that one is we're going to research a little bit about branding and you are going to uh, write, you are going to build the concept of branding. What is branding? So a little concept about that one. So the first step is for you to research and then the second step is to write a little concept about branding and then you are going to share with the class. Uh, do you have any questions on that? Mm, no, teacher. Uh, for the research, research uh, by myself, uh, I will review the internet in the different concept, and I consult uh, my owner concept about branding. That is correct. That will be the access. Okay. Thank you. But I will give you a few minutes for you to do the exercise, yeah. Hay cosas que
Hola, hola, muy buenas noches, Lee. ¿Todo bien con su audio? Hello, sí, estamos haciendo un ejercicio en este momento. Ah, ok, perfecto, gracias. Bueno. Okay, did you finish or do you need a little bit more time? I'm finished, teacher. Very well. Okay, so since you finished already, uh, who wants to be the first uh, to share what will be your concept of branding. I have a concept, teacher. 
Very good. Go ahead, please. Tell us. Okay, branding. Branding, this is a process of definition and constructions of the brand through the plant management of all graphic communication and positioning processes carry out. Very good, very nice, very good elements. So positioning, that is the key word for this concept. Thank you very much, Ernesto. So Thank you. anybody else wants to share uh, your concept? Yes, teacher. Okay. I found is the process of creating a strong, positive perception of your company and its products in your customer's mind. Very good, perfect. So also this is a, with interesting words, positional, right? So to put a positive, uh, to set a positive positioning in the minds of our customers of our products or services. So can you see that, uh, I mean, this is something that we, we see every day in every, in every advertising and every product that we consume, right? One of the most common probably is about the, the hamburgers and the food, because you see something delicious, but when you go and see the reality sometimes, it's, it's not that one, because you have a perception. And then that perce perception is the one that makes the uh, consumers to go and look for, for a product, a specific product, not any product, but a specific product. Perfect. Very good. Nice elements. Anybody else wants to share their uh, your concept, concept of branding? Anybody else from the class that has researched and have your own concept of, of branding? Okay, you have a research, I guess. So, but, uh, well, the thing is that this is the unit that we're going to start. And uh, sometimes what happens, not only in English, but in general, is that we, we know those things. We know things that are there in, in the products, in the, um, let's say in the processes of a company, but sometimes we don't know the name of those. For example, I believe that everybody speaking about marketing, speaking about advertising, uh, that is part of marketing. Uh, I believe that everybody has seen that one, that there is a like the perception of something regarding a product or service. Now you know that that is branding. And as I was telling you, that is what we're going to check in this unit. But there are many things speaking about perception. I mean, if we analyze, I don't know if you have ever, if you have ever heard or check about something that is a very common, let's say something that that has happened for a long, long time. That is the subliminal messages. Do you know what is a subliminal message? Exactly, that one. So it's like something that is there beneath, right? Something that is not clear, not in front of that one. And, uh, but it's there for, for telling or to sending messages to the audience, let's say. So uh, by any chance, do you know uh, one of the first messages, uh, subliminal messages that a company has done for the masses. Have you ever heard about companies doing this kind of things? Yes, I think um, hiding message. <clears throat> uh, or where? Can you please tell us more about that? It's hidden. Ocultos. Exactly. Hidden, right? Hidden. Hidden. Sorry. And, 
And have you ever listened to from companies that have uh, used this kind of messages before for their products? For example, and the peers is the very hot, very hot in the client thing and the drink beer and the bottle. The bottle is sudar, como se dice, que está sudando la botella. Uh, sweat, it's sweating. Sweat bottle or <clears throat> in, in Coca-Cola, for example, refresh, drink, drink Coca-Cola. It's subliminal and very hot. And I think that the... I think and drink one Coca Cola. For the message is the hidden. Actually, you mentioned the The message when it uh, has served. You are thirsty. Thirsty. Yeah, thirsty. 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 <clears throat> and uh, many, many, many peoples, I think, uh, el mensaje subliminal casi nunca actúa en el momento, sino que después. Uh, Usted lo ve en la televisión o en una pantalla y queda grabado en el subconsciente. Cuando el cerebro está bloqueado o estresado, entonces el cerebro tira la orden. René, René. Sí. Then, then, then we go to the bar. Exactly. <laughs> yes, ajá, es una orden. Una orden. Está haciendo calor. Acércate a tomar una drink. Drink water. The cold. <laughs> Actually, yeah. that is it. Yeah. So yes. it's, it's interesting because according to what you say, it's not our fault, right? It's a message that has been put there in in our in our minds. Yes. Es, And, es, eso lo pagan bien el que puede hacer mensajes subliminales. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. And it's part of companies. I mean, they do that all the time. Uh, I mean, it's not, it's not bad, right? But it's not correct. Uh, uh, <laughs> one of the first, actually, one of the first uh, subliminal messages that happened in history is one that you mentioned, Coca-Cola. I was reading that Coca-Cola in a movie theater, they uh, try to do like that. They put the in a in a song or something like that, I don't remember exactly. And they put the the popcorn and the and the message that Coke is the best. That if you're thirsty, you need to you need to go and and buy a soda like Coca Cola. So that was one the first one as, as I read that they, they <clears throat> yes I read the I read the publicity. Uh, they don't sell soft drinks. They sell happiness. Exactly. And <laughs> you can see, you can see that actually that works. I mean, a lot of people, they are thirsty, but they don't want water. They yes. want Coca-Cola. Yeah. So when we speak about perception, when we speak about putting a positive message in the mind of the people, it's something like that, right? So if you're hungry, hamburgers, pizza, right? If you're thirsty, beer, Coca-Cola. So that is a representation of this. This is successful. It's something that actually works. That's why the companies, they try to do that all the time. Okay, before we move on, after the introduction, we're going to check the attendance. Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. Ana Verónica Hernández. Hey, 
present. <laughs> My microphone. Uh, no worries. Eh, Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Present teacher. Good. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Present coach. Good. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Present teacher. Good. Ingrid Paola Hernández Tenorio. Here, teacher. Good. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya Arias. Present. Yo good. Eh, Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. Present. Good. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, present, teacher, present. Good. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Here, teacher. Good. Carla Alejandra Castillo. Here, teacher. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present, teacher. Good. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Here. Good. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present teacher. Good. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Víctor Eduardo Reyes Navarrete. En Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Okay, before actually, before we jump into the class, uh, we need to check something. Hold on a second. We need to uh, check here. Hold on. Yeah, there are a few of you that you are not moving on with the with the platform. It's very, very important uh, to, to finish unit one, unit two, and the midterm test. So for example, Aida Isabel has done only one part of the homework number one. So you still, I would say that in Spanish. Los que voy a ir mencionando para que se pongan al día con la plataforma. Aida Isabel, le falta terminar La semana 1, la unidad 2 y el midterm test. Y a Ana Verónica solo le falta parte del homework 2 y parte del midterm test. Eh, Blanca Tunaca le falta parte del 2 y el midterm test. Eric le falta parte del 1, el 2 y el midterm test. Eh, Ernesto está en paz. No, nice. Eh, let me check. Ingrid, le falta parte del 1, parte del 2 y parte del midterm test. Jennifer, eh, le falta todo. Please ponerse el día. Jonathan, eh, le falta parte del midterm test. Eh, um, a ver, a ver. José Alfredo, estamos en paz. Juan Roberto, también en paz. Cara Alejandra Castillo, le falta creo que una parte del 1, del 2 y del midterm test. Eh, María Julia le falta, pero está bien. Mauricio Rivera le falta parte del 2 y el midterm test. Mónica Wendy Ábalos le falta eh, una parte del 2 y una parte del midterm test. O sea, se falta, no, o sea, estamos en paz. Eh, ya les digo, para que nos pongamos al día. Ramiro, estamos también cool. Roberto Carlos le falta parte del 1, el 2 y el midterm test. Sandra le falta parte del 2, unidad 2 y el midterm test. Silvia estamos en paz. Y Víctor le falta parte del 2 y el midterm test. So, please my friends, you need to finish the platform. Move on. Remember that there will be a time when you need to finish all the platform. So, if you are delayed it's going to be difficult to finish in two or three days, right? So it's very important to move on and finish the platform. Good, good. Uh, 
Okay. Now, yes, we're going to go to uh, the class. Let me just go here. Okay. So, basics of branding. Uh, let's see. Ramiro, could you please help me reading this slide? As you call branding. Excuse me. Basic of branding. Truly defining your business is a critical first step in developing your marketing plan through a continuum series of histories. We have been examining, examining how to build a com compelling brand experience that will drive customer loyalty, highlighting the principles of big brand marketing so that the small business owner can replace those kinds of successes. But before you can start building your brand's experience for customer, customers, you need to take some fundamental first step to define the kind of brand you want to be. Very good, perfect, thank you. So let's check what it says here. Truly defining your business is a critical first step in developing your marketing plan. So, Actually, this is the what we did today, right? To create a concept about this one. So defining a product or a company is not easy. And uh, also it's something dynamic. That means that it's something that, that you do, that you finish, but you need to continue redefining your brand, right? That is something that is a continuous improvement. Uh, is is something very very through a continuous series of stories. What is through anybody? A través. Very good. So through a continuous series of stories, we've been examining how to build a compelling brand experience that will drive customers' loyalty. What is compelling, my friends? You can look over there. Anybody? Convincente. Something like that, convincente, irresistible, right? So to build a compelling brand experience, look at those three words. The three words are very important. Compelling, something that people can resist. Something that people says, oh, that is the best. I want that. So compelling series of, say that, Compelling brand experience. So it's an experience. It's not just the name. So you need to offer a, a lot of things. Right? Compelling brand experience that will drive customers a loyalty. What is a loyalty? Lealtad. Very good. Lealtad. Highlighting the principles. What is highlighting? Resultar. Very good. Highlighting the principle. What is principles? Principios. Very good. So highlighting the principles of big brand marketing so that small business owners can replicate those kinds of successes. Mm -hmm. So that's what we need to do, right? Research about what other companies have done so we can replicate. And what is owners? Proprietary. Very good. And replicate. Replicar. Pueden replicar. Very good. So you want to uh, repeat the success, the plans of other people. But before you can start building your brand's experience for customers, you need to take some fundamental first steps to define the kind of brand you want. So this is like the introduction for that one. Do you have any questions on this slide? You can start building. 
tips okay. okay for you, teacher. Nice. Let's go to the next one. So, uh, Roberto Carlos, please help me read this one. Okay. So, guys, our marketing plan, we need a very well-crafted statement. Type of business we are in. The type, the tip, type, sorry, type. of customer we serve and how we serve them. We have to define what we stand for and the type of product and service that our customer can expect from us. It truly really is the first step in the branding process. Very good. So to guide our marketing plan, we need a very well crafted team. So what is very well crafted? We can start with craft. What is craft? Sería como bien elaborado o construido. Very good. Bien, muy bien elaborado, muy bien Very good. So that will be a very well crafted statement of the type of business we are. So in mind, so the branding, for you to start the branding, the first thing that you need to do is to analyze what kind of company is our company. The type of customers we serve and how we serve them. Of course, it's not the same a product that our, that our customers are children or teenagers or uh, sports, uh, lovers or food lovers so depending on the product and the kind of customers that we have then we're going to start analyzing our brand okay and it says services that are uh, not here we have to define what we stand for and the types of products and services that our customers can expect from us stand for what is stand for Okay, um, I, be I believe that I told you a little bit about this verb. For example, when I say I can't stand, I can't stand my brother. No puedo soportar a mi hermano. So in this case, what it says, what we stand for is a los customers a los que les apoyamos. Something like that. Okay, and the type of products and services we expect. What is expect? Expectativa. Expectativa, something that we wait our other people do for us, right? Expectations. Very good. So that would be that says this truly is the first step in the branding process. So for people to create a very nice marketing strategy and create nice advertisement, we need to do this, right? We need to start thinking about our company and our customers. So do you have any questions on this slide? Okay, so let's move on then. The next one is like uh, more getting into while we are here, right? Um, Ana Hernandez, could you please help me with this one? Okay, when defining your brand, but as much clarity as possible into how the brand and business is described so that you can build a specific brand experience to match to match it. Here are three keys a step to help you get there. Make an inventory of your skill, list out what you are especially good at, at, at and when you want to customers to think of when your brand comes to mind. Uh, your unique set of skills will form the basis of your brand definition. So let's analyze. When defining your brand, put as much clarity as possible into how the brand and business is described. So the first thing that we need to do is to describe our company. What kind of company is the one uh, that we want or that we have? That are two different things. Sometimes it's what we have, and then you start working on something that you want to. 
so that you can build a specific brand experience to match it. Here are three key steps to help you get there. What is key here? Key. Clave. Clave. Clave is okay. Nice. So number one, this is like the key steps. Number one, make an inventory of your skills. Do you remember what is skills? Habilidad. Very Force. good. That's nice. So what we need to do first is to make an inventory of our skills. What can we do? What are we able to do for our customers, for, I don't know, for the public in general, many other things. And it says list out what you are especially good at. So the best, the best that you can offer. And what you want your customers to think of when your brand comes to mind. So here it starts the perception, putting the positive perception into the minds of our customers. So you have to list what makes your product especially good. And what do you want the customers to think when they look at your product or look at the name of your product. So you start a relationship between what you are and what you want the people to perceive from your product, okay? And then it says, your unique set of skills will form the basis of your brand definition. So this is the very first step. This is like a map, right, on how to do the brand. Do you have any questions on this? Okay, Not let's go. Nice. Let's go to the number two. Ernesto, help me reading this one. Okay, teacher. Number two. What are you, what are your customers' needs? From your list of skills, identif identify those that your customers particularly need. Think through the the mm -hmm. kinds of things you do that your customers will come to you for, you should define your brand based on your ability to fulfill such demand. Very good. So now, now that you know what is your product and what you want the customers to think of, because that is something like uh, the perfect idea, right? But it's just an idea. You need to go to number two. What are your customers' needs? what they want to solve. Why will they want a product like yours? Okay, so from your list of skills, the one that we did first, we need to identify those that your customers particularly. So here we make the match. So we have three ideas up till now. The first one is what kind of company or product we have. The second one is, what do we want people to think when we when they see the name of the product? And this one is the second one. What are the needs of the customers? So we're going to stay relating those things. Think through the kinds of things you do that your customers will come to, for, to you for. You should define your brand based on your ability to fulfill such demands so one is what you want them to think the other one is the real thing the reality what you can solve with your product all right do you have any questions on number two teacher mm -hmm. uh, what was the mean to the full file Fulfill. Anybody knows what is fulfill? Como realizar. Realizar, completar. Yeah, completar, okay. llenar. En este so. caso, este caso se, traduc se traduciría como eh, cumplir, cumplir tal demanda. 
o tales demandas. Something like that, yeah. So it should it, it will be like tú deberías definir tu marca basado en la habilidad de completar, de rellenar, de, ah, de solventar tales demandas. That will perfect. be perfect. Perfect. Any other question? Okay, so let's go to the last one on these first three steps. Uh, let's see who's in check. Uh, Oseas. Focus on what differenti differentiates. It's important for your brand to be different than other similar options available to customers. Of course, your brand experience will ultimately differentiate you. But being unique starts with deciding what attributes set you apart from others. Your goal is to be different and better than your competition. Okay, so this is the last one of the first basics on brand. Focus on what differentiates. It's important for you for your brand to be different than other similar options available to customers. So just maybe there are other products very similar to ours, but what makes you special? Again, the, a very good example of this one are the colas, right, the sodas. I mean, in mind that I offer you a big cola or a Coca-Cola, but probably, probably everybody's going to say, no, I want a but both products are the same, same products. But people have in their mind that different, right? Maybe yes, in the in the taste, in the flavor, there is a difference. But at the end, it's the same product. But the different. Uh -huh. No, this is this is the power of the brand, or the or the branding. Exactly, that is brand. So, as we were saying before, right? If you are thirsty, many people here in El Salvador, when they are thirsty, they want a Coca Cola, right? That is, it. we don't want water or beer, or beer. Or beer. Yeah. for the weekends, right? For the weekends, so, that is true, and is the perception. I mean, this is all these things that we're checking right now is psychology. Right? It's something that companies study. They invest a lot of money so they can tell you what to do, what to Teacher, buy. When you open at the bottle of a Coca Cola bottle, you're here. Yeah. So that, is, that is true. I mean, I believe that everybody, when we think about Coca Cola, we we see the bottle with the, with the with the drops sweating as as Rene was saying, right? Like that. Yes. That is the image. In my in my how powerful is the branding of cola. This is I mean it's amazing. You don't have to see the product. You don't have to. The only thing that you have to do is to think. I mean, you're thirsty, and then you go to that moment. That is it, and it's so powerful. As I was telling you, I mean, there are many, many flavors of soda. You can buy a Fanta, you can buy a Fresca, you can buy many, but the one that is the most successful at least here in Osago is Coca-Cola. And that is because of the brand. It's that only, right? And then it says, of course, your brand experience will ultimately differentiate you. But being unique starts with deciding what attributes set you apart from others. So what you need to do is to set the attributes right. Now you know what kind of product do you have, what idea do you want people to think of, what are the needs of the customers, and how you are different from other products. With those four things, you can start creating the branding of a product.
And then it says your goal is to be different and better than your competition. Actually, that is that last part is exactly what Coca-Cola is doing. They put the perception on the mind of everybody that they are better, the best solo, right? The best better. And the dog agree with me. So that is for sure. Good. Do you have any question on this? Uh, the dog, the dog, for example, the dog. Another, another industry, the client, uh, they don't sell tickets, they sell experience. That is true. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, there are many examples of this, but maybe we're going to check some of those, but a lot, right? A lot. For example, Starbucks, right? Starbucks, the coffee is very, very expensive. Yes. Uh, comparing with other people, but that makes them unique. The personalization. I was, I believe that I have the video, maybe I will send to you. I was checking that there was, uh, the, the, you know, there was like the, uh, the, uh, the person that creates that one. He says that he uh, wants to create a company. And there was a company that was called mm -hmm. Starbucks. And they sell coffee, but it was a regular coffee shop, regular one, not big deal. And he went uh, to another country. He went to Italy. And in Italy, there was a small coffee shop, a very small coffee shop, that when you go there, they ask you, hey, what's your name? And they write the name on the, on the cup of coffee. And they tell you, thank you for coming here. And they were very, very like that, very nice. So he said, oh, that experience is good. I mean, the experience was good. The coffee, I mean, it's good, but it's not important. The experience was good. When he came back to the United States, he said to the, to the bosses on the company, let's do this. And the bosses said, no, that is not going to work. That is another problem that we have sometimes. Some other people don't believe, right? So at the end, the company broke. And he bought the company. And he started doing that one. And now, that is a worldwide successful. But only because of the experience. When you go to Starbucks, you the smell of the coffee, uh, the quality of the coffee, but also the experience. To be there is totally different than any other coffee shop in the world. So, the perception of the people, again, Right. How you are different. Good. Do you have any questions here? Only, only commentary. Tell me. Uh, yeah, and um, the work of the marketing is and uh, make that take a perception about the quality and uh, uh, made a compare uh, to brand and I prefer the, the, the coffee of the uh, McDonald's in the breakfast. Mm -hmm. No like me, the, the Starbucks coffee, mm -hmm. uh, but the experience that they stay in the, in the, uh, in the uh, Starbucks, uh, is a different the, the ambient the space uh, the condition is another some in some places uh, feel some exclusive this the space so that is it yeah and this is very interesting what you mentioned because yes i mean we spoke about this person uh starbucks definitely something different right but this is too expensive some people, they prefer other options that are very good. I mean, the coffee on McDonald's is good. It's very good. Maybe it's not personalized the cup. I mean, people believe, I mean, this coffee is very good. I really like here. I really like other things. And that's why I make other brands, right? There are different brands that can offer you different situations. Mm -hmm. And they are in the market because of that. So definitely the McDonald's is different. If you go to, for example, Wendy's, the different uh, the experience is totally different. 
the food may be similar but not the same. And that happens. I mean, that happens. And that is the, one of the real problems that we have in El Salvador. When people, when they want to run a business, they don't think about these things. I believe that we spoke about that uh, in another unit. A lot of people here in El Salvador, they want to, to, to run a business. A lot. And one of the most common business that they think is proposals. Proposals is going to be a very good business. But people, they don't think about this. They don't think about what, what can I offer that is different? What can I offer that is nice, good quality? What kind of company I want? What kind of services? People, they just open the proposal and that's it, right? And uh, if the quality of the proposals are good, they are going to stay in the market for a while. But if it's not, three months, six months, and people have to close their businesses. It's because of this. We don't think about all these little details before we run the business. Good. Do you have a, any other question? Good. Let's move on, my friends. Okay, this one is going to be for the check. René Molina. Ya presentía yo. Ah, okay. <laughs> Whether you, you are a company looking to distance yourself from your competitors or a Middle. Career. Career middle. Middle. Minded. Minded. Minded professional looking to stand out from your peers so you can spend your success. Branding is important. And uh, what the pronunciation of told? Also. Also. Although it seems like a simple concept, there are numerous elements that go into building as a strong brand is this post. I want to focus on the impact of small details and how they can bolster or book budget butchered your brand very good perfect so let's analyze this paradigm whether yeah. you are a company looking to distinguish yourself let's think about the first word whether what is whether whether if ya, ya sea okay you can say ya sea ya sea que or si or something like that right in this case, it's a condition. Yeah, that is exactly. I mean, this is a synonym of uh, if, definitely. Good. Thank you. So, and then it says whether you are a company looking to distance yourself from your competitors or a career minded professional. What is career minded professional, friends? I don't know, teacher, but career, career, career professional, but the, the word that I, I don't know is minded. Minded is from mind, it is the main. Uh, sería algo así como a uh, un profesional que está creciendo en su carrera o que está analizando cómo superarse en su carrera, algo por esto. Okay. Looking to stand <laughs> out. Oh, this is a different, right? In mind. We checked. Do you remember that we were saying, I can't stand? I can't stand is no lo puedo soportar. El otro que vimos en el otro slide era stand for. Stand es for. Apoyar o soportar. Uh -huh. Y este es stand out. What is stand out? 
It's like separate from the other. Salir. Very good. Perfect. Mm -hmm. That is the one. Salirse. Separarse. That will be it, my friends. Nice. Mm -hmm. So, let's check about the other words. Stand out from your peers. What is peers? Compañeros. Compañeros. Very good. So, from the other companies or products that are similar. So, a peer is somebody or something that is very similar to you. Okay? Tus pares. Tus pares. Very good. Your peers. So, you can expand your success. Branding is important. And although, what is although? Okay. Aunque, very good. And although it seems like a simple concept, there are numerous elements that go into building a strong brand. Okay. So this is part of a post, of course, as in this post, I want to focus on the impact of small details and how they can bolster or butcher your brand. Uh, let's speak about bolster. What is bolster? Mm. It's like reforced. Very good. Reforzar. Buster. Or a butcher. What is butcher? Okay, butcher uh, comes from another word that is butch. Butcher. Uh, es como de, en este caso, yo lo traduciría como despedazar. Sin embargo, butcher es como carnicero. O sea, es como... Ajá, sale en este caso. That would be a butcher. So it can be something very good or something very bad. If you don't do the branding good, if you don't do the branding correctly, well, maybe only because of that, maybe the product is going to fail. It's not going to work. So that's why we need to be careful of this. Right? Good. Do you have any other question? Mm. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Mm. Okay. Sims teacher Kera. Sims. Uh, which one? Sims. Sims. Después de aunque. Uh, although it seems very good. Anybody remembers what it seems? Parece. Parece. When we say parece que, it dice algo más. So that it seems. It seems something, right? It seems this is so nice. Seems, I don't know, whatever you want to say. Good. Okay, good. thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Okay, let's move on then. Mm -hmm. um, Carla Alejandra. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. When it comes to managing every detail, mm -hmm. Apple is a company that gets it right. Mm -hmm. It's so secret why it is the world's strongest brand. You see the details in their retail stores, the packaging your products come in and in the Apple employees with whom you interact. Every minute detail is considered when they are building a new product or sending a new communication. Every time you interact with Apple, they deliver innovation. Very good, perfect. So uh, this is a very good example. For example, when it comes to managing every detail. So Apple is like that with every detail, not only for the product itself. When you go to the store, when it's they no secret create it's like a stranger brand. 
The apple is a company that gets it right. Mm -hmm. It's no secret mm -hmm. why is the world's strongest brand. You see the details in the retail stores. So if you go to the stores, you can see the difference, right? The stores, only the store is very nice. It's something different. The packaging, your products come in. So the boxes, right? Very plain, white boxes with the logo in uh, hologram, holographic stickers. Um, and in the Apple employees with whom you interact. They are very professional. Everything is high quality, right? Not only the product, everything. Every minute details is considered when they are building a new product or sending a new communication. Every time you interact with Apple, they deliver innovation. So they are very good in every. Of course, the product is the most important, right? but they are very good in everything. It's not only, I mean, that is branding. Branding is not the product itself. It's everything. It's all the experiences that you have with one product company, people from the company, and any other thing, like the website. Good. Do you have any questions? For example, strongest. What is the strongest? El más fuerte. Very good. Super. I don't see any other. Do you have any other question here? Okay, let's move on. Okay, the next one is going to be for, let's see. Mm -hmm. Juan Roberto. Okay. The technique you can use to analyze all the details that together com comprise your brand is called touch point analysis. And it involve, involves looking at every potential interaction as Katie Holder has with your brand. At each touch point, you need to make sure what brand attributes are being communicated and if what, that message will have a, pos a positive impact on the brand. Very good. So let's check into this one, okay? The technique you can use to analyze all the details that together comprise your brand is called touch point analysis. Ah, oh, this is interesting. So in mind that your boss comes and says, uh, could you please build a touch point analysis of this product? Now you know that this is uh, the analysis, analysis of the details to create a branding of a product company or whatever you want. okay uh it says that together comprise what is comprise comprender very good comprender abarcar something like that one right uh your brand is called touch point analysis and it involves looking at every potential interaction a stakeholder has with your brand. So look at what it says. Branding is not about only the product or the logo or the motto. It's about every interaction, every potential. I mean, anything that can happen, every potential interaction a stakeholder has with your brand. Stakeholder like a customer, right? Any customer or any person that is involved with the company. It's making business with the company. At each touch point, you need to measure what brand attributes are being communicated and if that message will have a positive impact on the brand. Okay? So you need to analyze everything regarding that, in that potential interaction that you have with any person that is going to be involved with the company. Very interesting. So branding is not only about the products. That is something. Uh, any question here on this slide? Teacher, the mean, the mean of the, the, the word called touch point. Uh, let me see, price, 
each touch point. In, in the second line. Okay, uh, the brand is called. Called touch point. Uh, se llama. Se llama. O es llamado. Es llamado touch point. Análisis. Uh -huh. Un análisis de punto de toque. Okay, is is uh, no tiene traducción. It's not traducción. Eh, ¿Cuál de las dos? ¿Es call o touch point analysis? Touch point analysis. Es un análisis, yo sé que en español tiene un nombre específico, I don't remember, but it's something similar to this. Un análisis de punto y toque, algo así es. Because what it says, actually we're going to check that in the next slide, uh, is about uh, everything that is going to be like an interaction, everything that you can be in touch with the company. So this touch point, it refers to when you are in a point, it could be a store, it could be in the website, it could be in the chat, when you are in touch with other people. Okay. Any other question? Good. Okay, so this is for the next classes. Now we're gonna go to the book. So uh, this is, as we were saying, the unit number three, right? It says, I will be able, I will be able to sketch the basics of the branding process for a person or a company. For Friday, my friends, you are going to create a little, a small branding for a company or a product, whatever you want to do. Of course, we're going to check uh, the steps for you to do branding. And uh, the most basic is what we just checked. There are the four uh, main points, right? Uh, what kind of company or product do I have? Uh, what are the, what is the idea that I might I want my the people that are going to be my customers to have from my products. Um, what is the difference between my product and the other ones? And what are the needs that my product is going to solve? Those are the basics for you to do a branding. So you are going to present a branding for any product or services that you want. That is for this Friday. Okay, so it says, number one, why is it important to create a strong brand for a product. What do you think? It's important for the uh, the, the customer uh, uh, easy remember the brand. Uh, it, but this is important, uh, very important. Definitely, it's because you want people to, as you say, remember your brand, the product. So whenever they have that need, the first thing that comes to your mind is your product. That is the important part about this. Do you feel identified with the brand that you represent in your company? What do you think? It's important feeling identified with the, uh, our brand, but uh, defend and uh, and uh, talking very well on all the customer for my brand. Very good. So that is it. Yeah, I believe that it's very important to be identified with the brand that you represent. Right. I really, really believe that. So uh, sometimes it's difficult because sometimes here in El Salvador we have a job because of the money, because we need a job, but not because we look for uh, something that is going to be identified with us. Um, it's difficult sure. sometimes. For example, the, the branding in Rolex mm -hmm. identifies the, the good watch. Definitely. I mean, the quality of that, and those are very expensive, no? Those uh, watches is nice, huh? No, the, the quality for the, the example the that René mentioned of the Rolex, 
is a is a is very good for the quality. For example, I remember when I I was I watch uh, U.S. Open uh, in the in the field, uh, the brand in the hour show that game is about about is it's with with Rolex. The hour show that game uh, is with Rolex. This is important for the for the for the brand in this game. The game is very very expensive. That is true, very expensive. And you know, uh, one of the most important part of the Rolex are that they are very accurate. The precision of their watches is so good, and that's why they became very famous because. I mean, they were very, very good uh, watches. And that's why it was very expensive because they uh, invest uh, a lot of people in one watch. So they can check that everything is working fine. It's similar, it's similar the the history for the Seiko Cinco. Okay. Tell us about that. This is a variable uh, Cinco Segundos al año nada más se, se, se movía. Mm -hmm. So that is it. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, this happens. I mean, the one that we're analyzing with the Rolex and all these things is what happened with the most of the products that are very expensive. For example, a Ferrari. A Ferrari, uh, that car is very expensive because they have a lot of people checking the quality of everything. Everything is perfect, even the painting yeah. on the car. Uh huh. Teacher, uh, this product uh, that expensive uh, is uh, located or around in a specific target. Definitely. Uh, it's like what we were discussing. I remember that we discussed that if you go to any bookseria and buy a coffee, I mean, it's 50 cents, 75 cents. But if you go to a nice hotel and buy a coffee, it's very expensive, right? So the market, the target of the people uh, is, is totally different. Right? It's for people that they want something exclusive, something very, very nice with a high quality. So as you can see, we have checked a lot of examples on brand products, as we say, uh, many of, I mean, all these things that we have discussed is branding, okay? And they have different target, different, Pricing different, uh, they solve different needs, but it's exactly the same. It's branded, so that's why this is a very important part of a call. Perfect. So let's move on to the conversation. It says, uh, read the conversation and take turns practicing it. it. Says, I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diapers. What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the ones sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that is the problem. People are calling them Joshua's, but that sounds just bad. And I can't come up with any better idea. You can call them no brand. No brand has become a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Okay, so let's check about pronunciation. Do you have any pronunciation questions? In the in the with with Jose mentioned, I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly. Diapers. Diapers, yeah. Diapers, okay. For the babies. In Spanish, Spanish, uh, my mom said los diapers. Yeah, it's because that is the name of those, exactly. So in English, that's the name. Yeah. Uh, that happens a lot. I mean, for example, it's very common uh, people to say los chores, right? I mean, that is shorts, the shorts, right? <laughs> and that have or Another one is, I mean, I, I, do you remember when we were at school and you say, Osama, liquid paper, 
but <laughs> that is the brand of the product. Yes. Uh, liquid paper, right? Uh, but the name of the product is white out. So you have to say pasame el corrector. That was the uh -huh. okay. white out. But the brand was was uh, liquid paper. Yes, teach. It's, it's similar to uh, uh, rinso. Exactly. Now everybody says el rinso y otra marca. <laughs> so, but this oh. rinso is the brand. So, and those are it's examples of. Demi un rinso, Pablo. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, in the in the or, past, huh? Or Salvadorian is. Yes. <laughs> give me, give me the jeans azul. Exactly. So that that's exactly what I was going to say. Blue jeans negro. Tiene blue jeans negro. So <laughs> the brand again, right? So people they change things, but the brand it stays there in your mind. Because for example, that happens. Rinso is a very good, uh, good example of brand. It's so powerful the branding of Rinso that we call Rinso to all of the other uh, shops, right? For for that the my, yeah. So it's, it's so powerful. Okay, so um, let's practice then the conversation. Let's see. We're going to start with Ernesto and Roberto. Okay. Ernesto, you are who? Uh, what okay. I, who wanna do you? If you prefer, uh, you are Josue. Okay. I would like to create friendly diapers. What you do have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the ones sold at the, at the supermarket. Well, yes, that is the problem. People are calling at Joshua, but that sounds just bad. And I can't come and I can't come up with any better idea. You could call them no brand. No brand has become a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Very yeah. good, perfect. Nice. Now we're gonna continue with Ramiro and Oseas. Okay, I am your Josue. I would like uh, to create a brand for my environment friendly diapers. Hello, Sas. Yeah, the, second, the second part is for you. Okay, Amy. Yeah. Okay. What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the ones sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that is the problem. People are calling them Joshua's, but that sounds just bad. And I can't come up with any better idea. You could call them no brand. No brand has become a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Very good, Per. Thank you. Uh, Jose Alfredo, is it possible for you? Hello, ah. hello. Here, here. Okay. Here. So, Jose Alfredo and Rene Molina. Okay. I start. Yes, please. Yes. Okay. I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diapers. What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are bullying. Uh, bullying. Buy. Buying from, from your brother that's getting the one sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that is the problem. People are calling them Joshua. But that sounds just bad, and I can't come up with 
any better idea. You could cut them. No brand. No brand has come uh, trends for some products in Japan and Korea. Korea. Okay. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Carla, perfect. Carla Alejandra and Juan Roberto. Okay, teacher. Okay. I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diapers. What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the ones sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that is the problem. People are calling them Joshua's, but that sounds just bad and I can't come up with any better idea. You could call them no brand. No brand has become a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, uh, let's see. Roberto Carlos. And... Ana Hernandez. Same paragraph. Yeah. Ah, okay, yeah, you can, no, no problem. Okay. Uh, I would like to create a brand for friendly diapers. What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are you being Fine. from your earlier than getting to ones sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that is the problem. People are calling them, them Joshua, but that song just bad. And I can't come and I can't come up with any better idea. You could call them no brand. No brand has become a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Very good person, thank you. Uh let's see, Victor Eduardo, is it possible for you? I guess not. Blanca Tanaka. Yes. Okay, Blanca and Jonathan Figueroa. I am Emmy. Okay, so Jonathan, you start. Are you able, Jonathan? Mm, yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diapers. 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 What do you. What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are budging from you rather than getting the ones sold at the supermarket. Well, uh, yes, that is the problem. People are calling them Joshua's, but that sounds just bad. That sounds just bad and I can't come up with any better idea. You could call them no brand, no brand. That's become a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Very good, perfect. Uh, Monica Avalos, is it possible for you? No possible. Maria Julia, is it possible for you? Yeah. Okay. Mauricio Rivera, is it possible for you? Yes, teacher. Okay, so Mauricio and Maria Julia. Okay. okay. I the second um, I am Ami. Okay. okay. I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diapers. What do you what do you have uh, in mind? I see I see a lot of people are booing from you rather than getting the one sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that's the problem. People are calling them Joshua's, but that sounds just bad, and I can't come up with any better idea. You could type them, no brand, no brand 
has become a trend for some product in Japan and Korea. Very good, perfect, thank you. So now let's check with Aida Isabel, is it possible for you? Yes, teacher. Okay, and Paola Hernandez, is it possible for you, Paola? Um, I guess not. Uh, what about Jennifer? Okay. Okay, so Aida and Jennifer. Okay, Jenny, if you want, I can start. Okay. Okay. I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diapers. Diapers, I'm sorry. Diapers. What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you, Raiderton, getting the ones sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, uh, that is a problem. People are calling them Joshua's, but that sounds just bad. And I can't come up with any better idea. You call call them no brand. No brand has become a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Very good, perfect. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Sandra Gomez, is it possible for you? Not possible. Okay. Very well, I guess everybody did it, right? No me faltó nadie, ¿verdad? Anybody missing? Okay, let's check some things. Uh, remember the pronunciation here is diapers uh, buying, right? So it's buy, buying. Rather, rather than. And... Uh, do you remember here what it says? What do you have in mind? Uh, what it says there? Es lo que tienes en mente. Very good. That's it. <laughs> and what is rather than? I believe that we checked that already. I don't, I'm not sure. So it says, I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than in lugar de something like that. Okay. Or preferiblemente, something like that. When you say, I rather, some people, for example, may say, I rather be at home. Preferiría estar en casa. Okay. So it could be something like that. Um, come up. What is come up? Come up. That is a phrasal verb. So remember that the phrasal verbs are verbs with other words. So come up in this case is um, llegar a una solución, imaginarse, solventar. For example, here it says, and I can't come up with any better idea. Y no se me ocurre ninguna idea. No brand. ¿Qué sería no brand? Sin marca. Sin marca. Right? That will be it. Uh, what is trend? Do you remember trend? Tendencia. Very good. And that is it. Okay. Uh, do you have any questions here? For me, no okay. Very good, very good. Thank you. So, yeah, no brand. I don't remember something like that, to be honest with you, but I just remember the name of a group that it was called Says in Number. That was the most similar to this one. But no brand. Brand is important. Just doing like that one, maybe not good. Okay, so it says, look at the conversation and answer the sentences below. So I will give you a few minutes for you to finish and answer the questions. It's going to be according to the conversation, okay? Okay, teacher. Good.
Okay, my friends, so let's check the answers. Number one says, what product is uh, Josue selling? Diaper. Uh, diapers. Diapers yeah. for yeah. baby, like hoggies, nice. What is an appealing characteristic of this product? Environmentally uh, friendly. Very good, so it's environment uh -huh. friendly. 
Okay. Uh, do you know what is appealing? Anybody remember? So you check into that. Attractivo. Very good. So what is the appealing of this proud, right? This is the, the origin of the sex appeal. Actually, yeah, it comes from here. Sex appeal is attractive for in a sexual way, of course. So number three says, uh, is the target audience interested in buying the product for sales? I don't know, teacher. It's possible at the person's of visit to the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's analyze it. That one says, let's check the question first. Is the target audience interested in buying the product for sales? If we ah, go okay. here, if we go here, it says, I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the ones on supermarket. So the answer here is yes. Yes. Those people, the people, they prefer Josue's diapers than the ones in the super. So that means that the target audience, yes, they are interested in buying the product, right? Okay, what does Amy suggest? No brand strategy. No brand. No Amy. brand. Yeah, she says, why don't you name it no brand, right? And the other one says, have you ever heard of this marketing strategy, no brand? No brand. Have you yeah. ever heard? For me, not teacher. Okay. Me neither, to be honest with you. I have never heard something that is called no brand or brandless. So, But for me, it's about the strategy is no brand yeah for me too the product but uh in the different culture for example in this example uh, for japan and korea uh, is is a good idea in this example yeah probably because yeah uh, japanese people uh, chinese uh, korean they are totally different right they have different marketing strategies, totally, totally. So that is very true. Good, do you have any questions on this? Okay, very well, uh, let me check out. Before we go down, we're going to do some free practicing. Let's see how it goes. Um, Juan Roberto. Hi, teacher. Hey, how are you? I'm, very, I'm fine. And, and you? I'm very tired. And it's Monday. So I don't know what's yeah. going to happen for Thursday and Friday. I will be dead here. But anyways, <laughs> we need to continue with life, right? So, yeah. and uh, where do you live? I live in Candelaria de la Frontera. Ah, we are very close. Very nice. So um, I remember that I have been there in Candelaria for a while, sometimes at night, and it's very nice. So tell the class, what things can we do if we go there to Candelaria? Mm, well, there are a lot of places like uh, restaurants, um, how, how I can say, I can say uh, Mirador. Uh, that is, mm, I don't know the name of that one. I'm going to look for that. So. Uh, hay miradores. Uh, oh, okay. Um, uh, there are a lot of places. Okay. I remember that there is a little mall where there is like, a, a, I don't remember the name of that one, but they sell nice food nice food. i don't know the name of that one. so anyways and i know wow. that there is there is a new hotel right yeah 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 <laughs> hotel yeah yeah what is the name of the hotel hotel yeah 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 ah como cuando me se dice va para allá para allá so <laughs> <Right. laughs> i don't know do you know the meaning of that word paya yeah Mm, I, I I don't know honestly. Okay, 
Yeah, probably people uh, are going to ask you that question. What is the name? <laughs> but they say it's a, a very nice hotel, right? It's very good. Uh, yeah. And there are lots of couples there, right? Mm, they, I think. I think there is. Okay. Very good. And do you work there in Candelari? Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm work uh, 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 in November 20, 2022. Okay, yeah. so you started working there. So that is good because you don't have to travel. That is fantastic. The traffic is crazy. Yeah, I work a lot of time in, in San Salvador and it was a, a different experience. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's crazy. And yeah, I believe that for you it was very difficult because you had to travel a lot. What time did you wake up when you were working in San Salvador? Well, I go every every Monday because I'm I'm yo me quedaba allá, verdad? Mm -hmm. La mayoría del tiempo. Uh, so I walk I wake up to to four a.m. Yeah. I know it's difficult. Me as as well. I wake up at four a.m. and it's crazy. That's why sometimes I I don't know if you have seen that I'm like like sleeping here because at four a.m. and I don't stop right. So, but it's good. I really like to be here in class. So it's nice. Yeah. Okay. Very well. Thank you, Juan Roberto. Thank you for you. Okay. I'm gonna speak now with Blanca Tunaka. Hi, teacher. Good night. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Fine. Fine. Thank you. Nice. Very well. And uh, what is your favorite food, Blanca? My favorite food is uh, chicken and ornea. Uh, oh, oven I chicken. Oh, uh hen. -huh. Hen. Yeah, yeah, hen is delicious. Uh, yes. Where is the best place to eat hen? Best place. The best restaurant to go and eat hen. Oh, my restaurant. Uh, my best, my best restaurant is in Sonsonate. Is China, China, yo. Mm, but that is not from hen, right? So it's different. Okay, and uh, what is the the weirdest food have you ever eaten? Is um, my delicious foods? No, no, no. What is the weirdest food? Weird. Weirdest. Do you know? Do you know what is weirdest? No, no understand. Okay. La comida más rara que ha comido, ¿cuál es? Oh, yeah. Is a soup. No, soup is ramen. Ramen, uh, ramen soup. soup. Okay. But okay, ramen is very good. I like no good, ramen. No good. No you good. don't like it? I don't, I don't like. Y my. I really like ramen soup. It's, it's amazing. But anyways, everybody's different, right? <laughs> okay, that is from Japan, right? So, and uh, yeah, there are different things. Okay, thank you, Blanca. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Paola Hernandez. Not here. She's getting some ramen soup, maybe. Okay, let's see who else is I haven't spoken. Uh, uh, Aida Isabel. Hello, teacher. Hey, how are you? Mm, I'm really tired. <laughs> yes, right. Uh, but mm. on the weekend, you don't work on the weekend, right? No, but uh, but I received my uh, specialization about the environment didactics environment virtual environment and you do that on the weekends sundays uh, just uh, saturday oh, in okay. the morning yeah but, but all it's, the morning. yeah 
And then the rest of the weekend, you have to do other things, of course. Yes. <laughs> All right. And uh, what is your favorite food? Aya? Um, I don't have, um, I don't have uh, nothing for favorite. <laughs> Being honest, I like to to eat all kind of food, seafood, uh, healthy food, uh, fast food. I don't have a favorite for anything. Okay. And the music is the same because I like a barrier of music. Okay, I don't have any favorite. <laughs> Everything. Paquita la that is me. Yeah. It's all me. Ah. <laughs> okay, very good. And what is what is the weirdest food you've ever eaten? A weirdest? What is mean that? La, la comida más rara que he comido. Ah, um, I don't know how to say in English, but mariscada. Mariscada. Really? That was the weirdest food? Yes, I guess. Okay. Okay, very good. And you didn't like it or you like mariscada? No, yeah, yes, I like it. Yeah, it's very good, right? I really like Yes, I like it so much. Yeah, mm -hmm. I really like the... Uh, the seafood, I mean, the shrimps, the uh, yeah. fish, the shell. The fish realize... fry is perfect <laughs> <laughs> on Sunday. <laughs> In the beach, yeah. it's oh, excellent. Yeah. With a big, yeah. ah, no, I'm sorry, ah, I'm sorry. Good. <laughs> <laughs> of course, <laughs> that, makes it, that makes it special, right? Very nice. <laughs> yeah. So what is, what is your, favorite, your favorite beer? Speaking about that one. Oh, <laughs> um, beer. Yes. Okay. Um, I don't have a, a favorite, but I like um the Corona. Okay. Yeah. With a <laughs> twist of lemon. <laughs> Así, <Supremo. su> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, 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 I'm sorry. I excited me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is fine, no worries. Other beer, <laughs> other other brands of beer, Anna, yeah. Aida. <laughs> ah, uh, I don't like at all Pilsener because it's really, yeah. Uh, how do you say amargo in English? Uh, bitter. Okay, I don't like. Yeah, okay. I don't like that one either. I don't know, something in the taste is not good. I really like. Uh, Suprema, as you say, and the one that I really like is uh, the one from Champions. What's the name of that one? Heineken. Uh, ah, do I... Heine no, Heineken is a uh -huh, it's... it's a good one, right? It's, yeah. Yeah. So you see how everything goes to the subliminal <laughs> messages. And... <laughs> Speaking about that one. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Thank you, Aida. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, let's see. Roberto Carlos. Tell me. How are you? Very fine. Nice. So, enjoy the class. Very good. Yeah. It's been a, a very nice class. You know, sometimes it's more fluent than other times. But that depends on my things. And uh, what's your favorite food? Tell us. Um, for me, is the um, the, the meat. Uh, but I don't have a specific uh, food. I I have many many uh, many food that is I prefer, and the uh, chicken in some style of cook, and the the meat and uh, the and the grill, and another type of of meat of meat sorry, no like me and. And I, I like me the fish, yeah. the soap, more or less. But the weather for me is the beans. Okay. For me, the soap of beans with cheese, with fresh cheese, and bocado, and a drop of lemon, and uh, rice is for me a good, uh, the, the excellent food for me. 
Yeah, that is amazing. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I really love soups, uh, all kinds of soups. And bean soup, with exactly with that one, I mean, with cream, with cheese, uh, with avocado and an egg. And at night, a lot of explosions, right? <laughs> anyway. A, a pile of beers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is good. I also really like uh, all kinds of soup, you know, pata soup, uh, mora soup, chipilin soup. I really like that. The only problem is that sometimes it's very hot. Ah, uh, it's very difficult to eat soup. But anyways. Yeah. And it's, it's, the flavor is, is special when, uh, when you have the touch and the house touch on your personal touch uh, is you... Uh, you put uh, a little chili uh, for yeah. for more flavor. It's excellent. And, and two tortillas. <laughs> perfect. You described the perfect lunch. Nice. I feel I feel hungry now. Yeah. We need to cook right now. I don't know. <laughs> All this has been too subliminal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And what is the weirdest food you've ever eaten? Sorry, don't 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 hear good. Yeah, what is the weirdest food you ever eaten? Okay, and um, I proved the eggs of iguana in oh, Iguaste, okay. mm, uh, okay. but it's rare the fat, the flavor, and this for for a specific taste because uh, to me don't like more much. <laughs> yeah, the, the flavor is totally. So yeah. you are right. <laughs> but I have a friend that is an uh, exquisite uh, uh, dish for him. Uh, for, uh, uh, he tell me in one occasion if he can uh, eat all day is that perfect. In my, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very expensive actually because it's not that easy. But yeah. Uh, I, I, I tasted one. I liked it, but it's not something that I say, oh, I really like one of those. All right. Yeah. Very good. Perfect. Thank you, Roberto. Okay, my friends, this was the class of tonight. So we're going to check the attendance so you can go to bed. Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. Here. Good. Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Yes, good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodriguez. Present. Good. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Here, teacher. Good. Ingrid Paola Hernández Tenorio. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya Arias. Present. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, teacher, present. Good. Juan Roberto Velázquez Roberto. Here, teacher. Good. Carla Alejandra Castillo. Here, teacher. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present, teacher. Good. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidón. Huh? Present. Good. Okay. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present, teacher. Good. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Sandra. Over here. Okay. Sandra. Present, ah, okay. Perfect. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Víctor Eduardo Reyes Navarrete. En Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present. Good. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. Hope you have a very good night. Rest very well. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, uh, good night. Good night. You, you have a nice night. Uh, I don't know if you have an answer for me for the platform. Fíjese de que todavía no la voy a volver a escalar en este momento, ¿ok? Para ver qué me dice. Ahorita.
ahorita la vamos a volver a poner. A ver qué me dicen, porque pues hay que hacer la plataforma y ya vamos atrasado. Ya voy atrasada con la plataforma. Perfecto. Entonces ahorita le voy a mostrar, vamos a poner. ¿okay? Y yo le aviso cualquier cosa. Ok. Sí, muchas gracias. Entonces me avisa. Le aviso con mucho gusto. Pasa feliz noche, maestro. Good night. Good night. Hello. Hello, Jonathan. Hello.